Standing strong, the tribal nations of Western Oregon. Each tribe unique in its culture, yet connected. Keeping our language alive is vitally important to us. That took us uh, back to that first uh, meeting uh, with the tribe. We're really not in the business of doing anything except building people. We had uh, a lot of commodities that other tribes desired. Go up on the hillside and, and be in a safe spot for the winter. I don't know how many trips to Washington, D.C., and we were told that the tribe would never get it back. Standing strong as a people, standing strong in their beliefs. Well, after we lost our homes, lost our places where we stayed, our villages, and were taken away to the reservation. Before it was called Oregon, we lived in this beautiful and bountiful land for tens of thousands of years. And even our word in the language for the earth is nanasta, and uh, it means literally uh, made for you. Try to put signs along the roads that Indians used to gather here, but Indians still gather here. We are, we are here, we're not going anywhere. We're here to stay. The Western tribe's stories woven within Oregon's 150 years of statehood. This is their story. <laughs>